Hey guys, I'm April from Giggle Glitter Graphics, and this is my flip through of my Gourd Grove Apothecary, my fall apothecary journal. This journal is a single signature journal. It was a quick project, and it is going to be part of a three journal set. I'm creating this set using the Gourd Grove bundle, and you can find a link to that in the description down below. So on the cover of this journal, I have added some ribbon, and my Gord Grove Apothecary sign. And I've just created this small tuck so I can hold a journal card and my seed packet. Here is my card and my cute little seed packet. And this has a uh, pumpkin planting care and care instructions on the inside, which I think is super cute. And then on the front here, I've got this scrappy little band of fabric, wraps all the way around to the back. And my principal cover has the interior of the apothecary on it. Flipping to the inside, got this tuck pocket on the inside with another pocket layered over top of it. And inside I have this bottle. I added a tag with some baker's twine. I have a few of these throughout the journal. I really like the little bottle fussy cut. I have some lace running right down that pocket, right down into the second pocket, my little apothecary drawer. And then tucked inside, I have a journal card that I can write on the back of, as well as a second card. And this is the first of four cards that I have describing cabinets inside of the shop. And this cabinet holds bottles filled with tinctures and remedies with a fall theme. And on the facing page, I have a tin fussy cut, like a tea tin with an aromatics label that created a little corner pocket, which I've tucked this funky little piece of ephemera into. And I created a tab using this cinnamon label and a little bit of fabric. I have another apothecary drawer pocket along with a couple of stickers, stamp stickers <laughs> that I have from my stash. And then I've got it filled with some ephemera here. I have, this is a stamped paper, that little bill that I had on hand. This is an apothecary receipt from the kit. And then I have a bookmark that I've decorated, which describes the interior of the apothecary. I've been trying to do some more descriptive items in this kit. I wanted you to feel like you were exploring or taking a tour. On the facing page, I wanted to leave the apothecary drawers visible, so I just added a little bit of lace and some trim at the top. I have a tuck, remedies, potions, and crystals. And inside of this, I've just tucked a couple pieces of ephemera. I've got another little apothecary bill. I've been tearing corners lately. It just makes me happy. Another journal card that I can write on the back of, and this letter piece of ephemera. And in this little drawer, I have the second cabinet that's full of gemstones and crystals. And there is my picture on the back side. I have this cute little packet envelope and tucked a tag inside using another one of those stamps and an apothecary jar fussy cut. A little bit of stamping. This is coffee dyed paper that I added in. I didn't add a lot of extra papers into this journal. I wanted to go with mostly the principles and I wanted this to be a fast project. I didn't want too many pages to decorate. It's a apothecary shelf principle and I've edged this in ribbons that I've sewn together. A little bit of burlap, a little bit of velvet. Here I've left this page free for journaling and on this side I've got another seed packet and I've glued this one in at an angle. This is chrysanthemum planting and care instructions. And tucked in I have another journaling card but this one I've turned into a little notebook. So I've got a little bit of ribbon, a little gold rickrack and a label for rosemary at the top. And when I flip this over I've got some little pages that I can write on. These are just coffee dyed paper that I trim down and ink the edges of. The top of this page has layered lace and ribbon, also sewn. I have a lot of that through here. If you watch the decorating video, you'll have seen all of it. I showed all of the trims that I'm using in this journal. This drawer is filled with more goodies, more cards to journal on, more apothecary receipts, and another bottle. This one says sleepy time on it some more baker's twine. And I've done some layering at the top. I've got paper doily with some distress ink on it and a little cluster made from burlap, some vintage looking fabric and a bottle fussy cut. 
And at the bottom, some more of that layered and sewn ribbon and fabric along with a chamomile label. My coffee dyed paper has some more trim on the side, nice rough edge. Did a little stamping on this side just to get some texture in. And this page, I went a little nuts. I have a tuck, Gord Grove Apothecary, with a fussy cut, and I glued both those down so it kind of creates this big L-shaped pocket where I could tuck in a couple more tags, another journaling card, and this is from the Fall Magic journal card set, also included in the bundle. I love this little cat. Maybe it's the shop cat, I don't know. <laughs> Added some fabric trim to this card and more trims at the top and on the side. I used a lot of fabric trims in this journal and I love the kind of patchy, chaotic look of it. Now we're getting to the center of my journal. I did a whole video where I decorated this. These are the shelves of my apothecary. I used dimensional stickers. You can kind of see that these pop off the page. Tied a lot of the labels on. Used teas and potions and crystals labels to kind of set the mood, I guess. And there's dried flowers and, and leaves in here. I just had a lot of fun and used this as a big collage project. And I love how chaotic and full and wonderful it came out. On this next spread, I used some more dried flowers. I used the ferns and this daisy. I'm still not sure how dried flowers hold up. I'll let you know in the future. But for me, I'm not too worried. This is my personal journal. In the pocket, I have this gentleman. I have a whole set of portraits included in the bundles so that you can staff your shops or have townspeople. <laughs> I really got kind of extra creative with this one. So we have this gentleman here with his apothecary items. And I've left the backs of most of my cards blank so that I can write on them later. There is a lace kind of flip up here that I attached these apothecary bottles to. I used a piece of burlap. This was wired ribbon and I pulled the wires out of all my wired ribbon so that they were easier to work with and easier to cut. And we've got a little remedies label at the bottom. And here we have the third cabinet with dried herbs and botanicals inside of it. And there is the front. And over in our apothecary drawer, we have another apothecary receipt. The Gord Grove Apothecary. A little bit of vintage red ribbon. And here I used a large, this is a wide piece of ribbon. I want to say that this came off of when you buy like a bedspread or a bed set at the store and it comes with that ribbon wrapped around it. I think it's a piece of that. And then a little bit of vintage fabric and an apothecary jar. I cut those with my with my pinking shears. Here's the opposite side. I put a little stamp, an herb label, and some more vintage fabric down the side. And this tuck, the tuck says seeds, teas, and aromatics. And I've got a couple things tucked in here. This is an event flyer for the apothecary with all of the things happening and the days and times. <laughs> really, I really kind of went all out <laughs> with this kit. Another Fall Magic journal card and this little seed packet. And I filled with another tag. And I added some ribbon to the top and bottom. This was another wired ribbon with tree branches on it and I cut that with my pinking shears as well. It's the other side of our shelves. Hawthorne label, more sewn fabrics, and you can see I just kind of willy-nilly layered them together and stitched over them. A little cluster from my stash with an apothecary jar on it. Another set of pair of pockets. Got a couple of drawers. I did them two on the page. This is the third of the, I think the third of the large bottles. I think there's, there's four. Might be five, I'm not sure. <laughs> Big fabric tab there, and this is the fourth cabinet. It has glass vials with seeds, um, pumpkin seeds and gourds and things like that. With planting and care instructions. So it's a full service apothecary. There are a couple of tins up in the top pocket, and then I added some cheesecloth behind those that is glued down just for some texture. And I like how it pokes up out of the top of the journal as well. I'm really happy with this spread. Um, I did do this on one of my decorating videos. I think I added these later on. I was making a final pass and I added these bottles in here. But on this page, I've got a piece of fabric that I've glued down as a tuck and I've tucked in this little piece of ephemera here 
But the most fun part are these coin display pouches and I've put dried flowers in them, I've stamped them, and then I used a junk mail envelope to create a larger slide just to put a fern in. And then over here, kind of running right down into my apothecary drawer pocket, I've got this snippet strip with different labels and bottles and tins and things. And this pocket is still available to tuck some more things into. And I've also glued down this apothecary receipt. It is glued on two sides, so there's also space for me to add more later there as well. We're on the back cover now. I've left some more writing space and I've got this little invisible pocket right here. It kind of disappears when you pull the items out. I've got the last of my bottles, another fall portraits tag, and then a bookmark advertising a tea tasting competition. There's a rivalry between the apothecary and the tea shop and they want everybody to come vote on their favorite teas during an event in the town square, Gord Square. And that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of the Gord Grove Apothecary Journal. This fall apothecary journal kit is included in the Gord Grove bundle along with a library, the Maple Leaf Library, and the town of Gord Grove, which has a ton of little shops in it. This is kind of an exploration junk journal. It is the first time I have ever done anything like this. I wanted to see what people thought of it. So if you want to check that out, there is a link in the description down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.